Hello, and welcome back. Another episode of Space Engineers today, and I was going to do some experimentation with the different mechanics in the game. So, to start off, I should go back to the concept. I heard about this about five years ago, but I recently uh, heard it brought up again. So, back in, I believe, the 1950s, 40s, there was a concept for using, in order to make space uh, spacecraft, they would use... Uh, plate on the back of the rocket that shot nuclear weapons out the back and would basically use the blast to push the ship forward. And I thought, huh, maybe that'll work in Space Engineers. I mean, we don't have nuclear weapons, but we have these warheads. So, could I take a warhead, blow it up, and push this cross of heavy armor blocks forward? And if you could do that, you could make a large ship, would push these out with pistons, single-use pistons, have arrays of them, detonate the warheads, propel the ship. It would not be very efficient, but hey, let's see if it works. So I started off by doing a test, just like this, and you can see the results. So we're going to set the timer to five seconds, and here we go. Watch what happens. Look for movement. <laughs> Nothing. Dents it a great deal, but it never moves. I only got it to move once, and that was when it almost completely obliterated one block. If you do a single block, it will sometimes move. But, as you can see, sadly, the explosive propulsion is not viable. However, then I thought, hey, sometimes when I attack cargo ships, they have rockets and guns. They shoot at me, and when they hit me, I get pushed back. Can I use that for a ship? Now, this is obviously not practical. I did it anyway. So here we have it. My explosive propulsion craft. Uses these rocket launchers, shoots the back of the plunger plate. Pushes the ship forward, or at least that's how it should work. So when I did it like this, the rockets were actually so close that the, the rockets were glitching through and damaging this before they damaged the plunger plate. Now that was not what I wanted. So. This was in my blueprints. I am going to remove this. And we are going to build three more out so that we have ample distance. Then we'll come in. And we replace the rocket launchers. You need the yellow part to be facing towards your ship for once. So this is it. When I sit in the cockpit, I'm going to turn my dampeners off. The rockets will hit the back of this plunger plate made completely out of heavy armor blocks, which will hopefully provide the best resistance, and we're going to try and see what speed I could get. Now, I've done this before, but we're going to do it one more time on camera. So back here, I just have some maneuvering thrusters, just in case this thing gets out of place or spinning. The power generation is down here, as, way, as far away from the blast as possible. Now, what's going to happen? Well, I'll let you see. So here we are. Now, let's watch. So you see I've got this in my action bar. Now what's going to happen is when we're going to shoot, make sure your dampeners are off. The rockets are going to actually push it forward, and my top speed I ever got was 5.2 meters per second before the rockets ripped through the hull and destroyed the cockpit. And after that, the smoking wreck floats away, and it's kind of sad. So let's see what we can get. So let me get my HUD back up and watch the speed. One first, first fire. Look at that. 0.3 meters per second. Now, that first shot actually... Well, you can see there's a lot of denting on the back. See, rockets are just a bit glitched. But it actually works. And let's do it again. 0.5. And now I'm just going to hold down the keys. Now, um, as you can sh see, my ship is kind of getting... Oh. Huh. Well, that didn't happen last time. So as you can see, the explosive actually backfired and ripped off the rocket launchers. It really depends on how the uh, ship is feeling, to be honest, because we're going to try it one more time. So here we go. This one actually does not have the extended launchers, but it should still work. So here we go. Dampener's off. Watch the speed. One, two, three. Now, for some reason, this thing isn't accelerating as much as it usually does. All right, anyway... This is what happens eventually. Your ship is dead. Eventually the rockets will break through to the cockpit despite the fact that it doesn't actually break through many of these blocks. I think that's a glitch. 
the rocket's detection, hit detection, is not the best, because if you come to the back, the plate is not very damaged compared to the rest of the ship. And the rocket launchers didn't even destroy themselves. But, I think it's interesting that you can actually do this. You can have a ship that actually goes by shooting itself. And if you, say, got it up to 3 meters per second, that's really slow, but hey, turn the dampeners off, you can go wherever you want. Might take a while. But I just think that's really neat, and I kind of hope they had the uh, warhead thing, because I, I had an idea to make a ship that would push detonators out, and you could feed it, automatically load it, and it doesn't work. But I'm glad this rocket launcher thing works. And I assume this would also work for a Gatling gun, but much less efficient, slower. <laughs> it's a bit messy here with these launchers. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you like this, want to see more tests when I think of things, uh, more Space Engineers videos, more videos in general, please subscribe. I'd like to gauge interest in this channel, as I said in the last few videos. If you have suggestions or questions or comments, please use in the comment section. I will answer anything that is legitimate, as I always say. Thanks for watching. See you next time.